What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We are about to get into crashing, all right? She has officially been extradited to Oklahoma, okay? Now, the way it started off yesterday is a bit weird, um, simply because <laughs> they basically was letting it be known that um, she had been processed out, all right? They let... This is hot tea, hot chocolate. Um, some of y'all, you know what? It don't even matter. Hot tea, hot chocolate is one of my sources, and she will continue to be one of my sources. All right. Um, Krishan update looks like the Oklahoma hold has been lifted, and she's being processed out. Stay tuned for updates. She may be getting out or may be extradited. Unsure and unconfirmed. Please be patient. All right. So she made that very clear that she didn't know whether um, she was extradited or just released in general. All right. So this is what I was supposed to react to last night. But instead, we had uh, a DJ session. So that's this. Los Angeles 2010 W Temple Street, blah, blah, blah. All right. So that's what happened with that. Boom. So then... She updated us on the housing location, which we thought that she had just been moved in the jail, right? Um, housing location CR, hold on. Housing location CRDF, permanent housing is assigned date 7-30-2024, assigned time 12-19, Century Regional Detention Center uh, facility. Uh, this was basically a whole nother place. OK, um, well, not a whole nother place, but basically she kind of had been moved around in the jail, not knowing that this was the time where she was being extradited. Now, for some reason, uh, Smiley came out and said, my sister is on the way home. Krishan can't wait now. I don't know why she said that. Maybe Krishan is going to get to Oklahoma and get released. I'm going to tell y'all why I think that, but we're also going to have a conclusion here. Um, also, this is, now we know she's finally extradited to Oklahoma. Um, actual release date, 7-30, 2024. The release reason was custody, release agency, Oklahoma, release time, 1951. Re uh, reason description, custody, release and it's letting us know that she is in Oklahoma. All right. Now, I want y'all to know that this is amazing. Now, although a lot of y'all feel as though, you know, she may not be safe and things like that. One, one, one in the chat. Listen, I, I want y'all to know, I don't think they're going to touch her at all. Uh, she will have some stories for us. But I think Krishana's going to be well alive. She better. Um, coming up out of that Oklahoma precinct. Okay. Uh, the jail. Now, it is a beautiful thing that Krishan did get extradited to Oklahoma. Because guess what? She got to handle her business. She has been forced to handle her business. Okay. Only reason why I said um, they're not going to hurt her because a lot of people are worried. Like, oh, my God, I'm just I hope she's OK. Y'all, they just want her to handle her business. That's it. That's all. OK, they want her to handle her business. The end. Nigga. I'm probably going to take this part up out of there because I don't need y'all to be perceived of nothing. OK. All I'm telling y'all is this is a good thing that Krishan has been extradited to Oklahoma. A, she got to handle her business. All right. She had to handle it regardless, but she really going to have to handle it now. Number one. Number two, she has a lawyer that has to back her up in Oklahoma. So while in jail, she already handled her business. OK, she got the, uh, the lawyer. We believe Blueface paid for the lawyer. I could be right. I could be wrong. All right. Blueface might have paid for that lawyer. Either way, she got a lawyer, okay? The lawyer also is on the way to Oklahoma to make sure she's straight in Oklahoma. That's number two. Number three, it's a good thing that she got the lawyer because the lawyer could potentially talk her down, talk the judge down to getting that interstate um, 
the interstate stipulation to get on the interstate um, probation again. Maybe. Maybe. Or her ass going to have to stay in Oklahoma. That was one of the contingencies that she was up under anyway. You, we're going to give you this interstate probation. You show your ass, you got to stay in Oklahoma on house arrest. Okay. I hope they don't make her stay in Oklahoma uh, because it's not going to go well. She can't stand to be away from Blueface. I don't know how this is going to go down with her and Blueface because she can't stand to be away from that nigga. So I, I really don't know how it's going to go. All of this is speculation, by the way. This is alleged. I'm just giving y'all my opinion on, on what I think uh, can happen or might happen. Okay. Um, she's either gonna be able to bring her ass back to Los Angeles, um, do her probation, pay them people, uh, and do her community service. Cause that's all he wanted her to do in the first place. Do her community service and boom, she'll be good. Or. She's going to have to get on house arrest in Oklahoma and they're going to make her stay there until her term is up to, which is 2027. That's three years. Okay. Or she going to have to do the time for her crime, which is going to be four years. Her having a lawyer. I just don't think that's going to happen. I hope that doesn't happen. Now, a lot of y'all, keep saying what about junior I, i'm gonna need y'all to leave it alone leave it alone <laughs> junior is clearly fine because i know we would have got a message if he wasn't that's number one but number two wouldn't y'all think it'd be better for her to handle her business so she could take better care of junior wouldn't y'all think that With her handling her business, she can come home and make sure everything good with him. But we got to know. Y'all got to know. He's fine. Jesus Christ. He's with whatever parent, or not parent, he's with whatever guardian that she is allowing him to be with. Okay? Leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, leave it alone, y'all. It's, it's weird. It's, it's really weird. But I'm happy Krishan is able to handle her business. I'm, ha I'm happy that um, she is in Oklahoma. I'm happy she's still alive, okay? Uh, it's no way they would give us these updates if she wasn't. Let's be very clear. So I'm happy that she got to handle her business. She's forced to handle her business. Sometimes when you're hard-headed and don't want to do that, uh, God will, has a way of sitting you down. Okay. You can, you can be a, a, a person that God love to life. Okay. But he's still going to show you, you got to handle your business. You'll be the best child of God, but faith without work is dead. Okay. So she got all the faith in the world. You still got to handle your business. God's child or not. Okay. So I just wanted to put that out there for y'all. Once again, it hasn't been anything going on. So you haven't seen me much. I have uh, another channel that I'm uh, posting um, every day for the most part, consistently, consistently on and Patreon I'm posting consistently on. So, you know, I'm trying my best to give y'all more content over here. We're going to work it out either way. That's the update I got for y'all on Krishan. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.